Welcome to my Q&A um, for, uh, for December, I, I believe this is episode 6, goes quickly. Uh, the first question will be from Brush and Quill and he says meta or not meta. I don't think it, I think it go, by going lot, not meta, you, uh, tournaments you will surprise quite a few people and, and may even grab yourself a podium spot but going with a meta is, is, is strong. Uh, I, I personally try, try sort of adding a few surprises in there that maybe aren't meta and that's how I like to play most of the time. Hope that answers your question. Dave Williamson, if you could play one Astartes Legion, what would you play and why? White Stars is the only other one I would play. I'd play Space Wolves, but White Stars because of the speed. Possibly Sisters because, uh, I'm, but that would be a push. But definitely white scars. Hope that answers your question. Essex boy, do you think that GW will ever release a full length 40k feature film? If they did, what storyline from the 40k universe do you think they should start with? Well, that's a good question. I think if there was interest and it made it, uh, there was a It was going to bring in money, and and, and they probably would. Uh, I certainly hope so, uh, but it, it is a question of whether anyone wants to take it up on in the film industry, of course, and that that also would be if, if they thought that there was enough interest to make money out of it because it's all it's all about money of course uh where do i think they start i'd say start right at the beginning first film and then you can jump through certain points and pick out certain po with with sequels uh but it's definitely the first film should incorporate sort of the first part of the timeline and then maybe you can jump it on a little bit further as the film goes on but it, uh, it, I, I'd definitely watch it and I know there's plenty of 40k players out there that would watch it if it was good enough so maybe G, GW should Explore the possibility. Next, Baldur's Guide. This guy is, on his uh, his law channel is brilliant. I recommend watching his law stuff. So he says, "What is your favourite first favourite character? Thirty k then forty k unit in each of your armies." And why would why you love them so much? And the second part or third part is what's the best thing that could happen in the law from your perspective? Well, my favourite character thirty k would be my space from my space force, and that'd be Lehman Rush because I haven't got a Lehman Rush figure, and and. Uh, I think the actual model is awesome, so probably be then. And then 40k, it has to be Magnus. Misunderstood, uh, awesome model. And who doesn't love a little bit of chaos in their life? And what's the best thing? This is hard, me personally. I like them to sit, 
to to see them. We all like to see the storyline go, but they they sort of divulge into different paths. I'd I'd like it to all coalesce into one one form and uh, it be brought together in one 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 book once and see see an actual movement ahead rather than these little divergent paths off actually come to one point in time hope that answers that. yours Joseph Lee Betts this is from the Space Wars uh, 40k community page. What is your favourite thing that made the wolves a good fit for you? Basically, uh, I wanted a space. I wanted a space marines army, but I didn't want a space marines army in a sense. And the wolves are. Viking, I like the, uh, I've always liked Viking history and the runes and, and stuff and they're probably the least space marine u unit in the space mar mar from the space marines and that's why I, I went from and the melee and the in your face type so I hope that answers your question another one from Brush and Quill awesome to learn more about you make another Matey, another question. Bear with me, it's a long one. Blood, Blood Angels of Vampires, Dark Angels of Warrior Monks, Space Wolves, Vikings, Werewolves, etc. So what culture or fantasy creature would you like to see a Space Marine chapter in body? I think, I suppose you've got... The sisters could be... represent Amazonians, but... Uh, I, I think Celtic, especially Celtic myth, mythology and... Uh, Native American Indian, uh, mm -hmm. so something where uh, a nomadic type pe pe people that travel from world to world, something like that, maybe. Uh, a great warrior. Uh, a Deeply religious and uh, community filled chapter. Uh, so I hope that answers your question. The last one's from Edith Beer 40k. A nice answer, mate. If you were to start another army, which would you go for and why? Well, <laughs> My wife would kill me, so that's never going to happen. But I suppose if in the, uh, it was a, to ever happen, I would go for Necrons because at the moment Necrons have some fantastic models coming out, and their storyline's pretty cool. But it it's the closest to an undead. Uh, I suppose again the other would be squats if they ever bought a 40k squats because I love dwarfs <laughs> and it would be just cool. To have an army that hides behind normal terrain rather than <laughs> one that's uh, quite tall and doesn't fit behind normal terrain. I hope that answers your question. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.